Hello again, everyone. It's Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, the premier source for all things dimension lumber, construction framing, solid wood products across North America, published out of Vancouver, BC, every Friday since 1952. So a lot has happened since my last update a month ago. It's the middle of August and lumber prices are down a lot, but they're up still from the trend of the past 10 years and they're up from two years ago. So I'm just going to go real quick to the graph showing you uh, right now what's happening with the uh, two by fours, the largest volume made and sold lumber product across North America. So take a look at this. So here we have that benchmark Western Spruce 2x4, the uh, softwood lumber commodity sold at the highest volume. And if you look at the blue line there, you see that back in the middle of July, on July 16th, the price this year uh, touched exactly where it had been one year ago, except this year it was plummeting and last year it was on a relentless creep upward. Following that, uh, for the week of July 23rd, for about three weeks to August 6th, it was wavering slightly up or flat. And then last week, August 13th, it was down again. But so what does this mean? As I tell you, people can switch the um, construction grade standard is met by other items. So Eastern Spruce or Southern Pine is another product that people can use. So here is the exact same graph for Southern Yellow Pine East Side 2x4. And for those same weeks that I'm talking about, from the middle of July till the middle of August, the price hit bottom and actually started ticking up a little bit incrementally week over week. So that suggests that the customer still needs wood. They're just looking for where they can get the greatest value. If um, supply of material out of the West Coast is maybe tight or the price is a little bit high, then they're switching to a product that they don't necessarily prefer for their building projects, but it does meet the building code. This uh, lets us know how things are going to go over the next few weeks and months, but for right now, it looks like maybe things have flattened off and they could go up or stay flat. Great, and so uh, I will be uh, putting up some of the other graphs and tables that I usually show you. Uh, just real quick, going to cover some of the fundamentals of what's happened in the past month and in relation to where those uh, absolutely record high prices were in the spring. If you remember, the um, that Western Spruce price was hovering somewhere around $1,600 per thousand board feet. And so this week, uh, week of August 13th, uh, that price is $439, which is down $100 from the week before uh, when it was $539. And um, one year ago in uh, August, uh, mid-August 2020, that price was $746. So we've got quite a correction happening from all of those uh, surprise circumstances of last year, the huge amount of uh, home remodeling, renovation, do-it-yourself projects, plus the big rise in uh, new home building all across North America. But now remember how I've been telling you that 2019 was not a good year for U.S. home building, U.S. home building being by far the largest consumer of uh, all North America solid wood that's manufactured. Um, 2018 was a good year and at that time this uh, benchmark Western Spruce price hit what was the all-time high uh, somewhere around $550. So um, two years ago, in 2019, that price was $342. And when I said just now the 10-year trend, that's $225 or $250. Um, so people who have been complaining or being dramatic and saying, you know, in the spring, the lumber price was in a bubble, Housing was in a bubble. 
it's not a bubble. I keep telling everyone it's not a bubble. This is real demand for real building projects. No one is building inventory, either of homes or of wood. That's what a bubble means. A bubble means people stock up because they think the price is going to go up, but they're wrong. And the bubble bursts and they're held, uh, they're left over holding all of this expensive product. And it's, um, you know, too bad. So because the price got so high in the spring, no one was building inventory. Then if you remember from my earlier videos that I was making uh, there in July and in June, the demand dropped a lot. There was still a need to buy wood for building, but people were going to hold off. People were waiting. And it wasn't just lumber prices that were up. All building material prices were up. Labor costs are up. They can't find workers. Land prices are up, which is a really, really big indicator of the situation that we're in. If these large home building companies and um, even the medium-sized home building companies could find land to build on, there would be more construction happening right now. And that's why I say we're in a longer term trend of strong demand for lumber and building material because it's going to take a while for the market to be able to bear the price uh, of land increasing and the price of building material increasing, the time it takes to hire on these new workers that are needed as people retire out, and all of these kind of things. We expect uh, maybe two years, definitely to the end of next year, 2022, as I've said before. So let me show you the table which explains the price now compared to uh, historical and give you a better idea of um, where the market is at right now. Normally things would be slowing down at this time toward Labor Day. Really uh, lumber prices are getting soft. Construction activity is slowing down, but we're in some circumstances that uh, are not normal. And so we can't necessarily say like last year, there was that big run up of prices uh, sort of um, after Labor Day and into October, uh, about the middle of November, that started to come back down. But then this year, right away, the beginning of January, that huge ramp up that everybody's been talking about. So um, just saying, you know, oh, Labor Day is coming and uh, prices are going to slow down and um, building is going to get uh, softer. We don't really know about that um, now compared to the last, you know, 10 years or what would be historically normal. Okay, so here we have that data in the two graphs I just showed you presented slightly differently, the top two lines. The first one is that western spruce that I show you all the time and the southern pine, like I said, up a little bit. The third line is eastern spruce 2x4. These items can all be used um, to build a house. They just come from different regions. Then we have the studs. Can't build a house without studs. Look at that. It's down quite a bit. Uh, Douglas fir, that's a specialty product preferred by architects on the eastern seaboard. And then panel. That's your uh, plywood, and look at that, it's flat. We'll see if it stays that way. Okay, so there you are. You can see uh, the numbers for yourself, and the data doesn't lie. As I always say, the prices, in a way, they speak for themselves. We've got some things up uh, or flat, uh, some things down a little bit. What does that mean? We are approaching a supply-demand balance between the producers uh, and the secondary suppliers and the customers. Um, the demand is, is really quite muted um, as folks just didn't weren't impressed with those really high prices uh, back in the spring and um, just really are waiting, holding off as long as they can before they buy to see where the bottom's going to be. Meanwhile, supply is, is robust, is quite good. Um, we've got some really, really bad fires here in BC. It's, it's ugly. Last year was super ugly. This is even worse. It's not good. We are not in a good uh, future. 
for uh, what's happening across the Pacific Northwest and in the South with all the storms. Uh, it's just, this is bad. So um, a couple of, three weeks ago, some of the larger operators here in BC uh, announced curtailment. They said it was because of the fire danger. Maybe the exact facility was not in any particular danger, but I mean, I don't run the company, so what can I say? But what I do know is that their uh, lumber supply was full. Their lumber yard was completely full. And the log yard. I've been telling you, the um, sawmills all across North America have been well stocked with logs for over a year. So the feedstock problem is uh, non-existent. Um, so the potential slowdown in production to try to find where's the equilibrium of supply and demand is a good thing uh, to prevent the price from dropping even further. Um, the time of year is normal for folks to take vacation. So there's been a lot of people out of office. The Quebec uh, uh, normal two week holiday has come and gone. So for now, um, it's kind of a game of wait and see. Uh, the sawmills are able to bring more production online, are looking to sell more wood uh, during this year. Their main motivation at the moment is not price, is uh, booking the order files out as far as they can. Like I was saying before, uh, you know, back in March and stuff, the order files were six weeks or longer, which is very strong. The mills can just keep the price high or keep raising the price if they want to. But now it's uh, quite short. It's been the sawmill order files have been shrinking over the past few weeks. And um, the outlook for the lumber price would not really be for any big increases uh, anytime soon. But you never can tell. Uh, who knows what's going to happen? Another earthquake? You know, more storms? Rebuilding? Uh, run on plywood to uh, board up windows and then to re-roof? We don't know. It's only the middle of August and it's just been one, you know, dramatic event after another. So check back with us. Um, Go onto the website, madisonsreport.com, read up on these things that I tell you about the uh, lumber market. Uh, click on the subscribe menu and fill out a form if you want a sample of the full uh, 450 lumber prices, uh, which comes out every week. Uh, and uh, subscribe to the actual uh, dashboard to see what those prices are as they come out instead of waiting until I put them on the website or make a video. And uh, we'll be back soon. I'm going to make some videos right now about uh, U.S. Uh, home sales and house prices that came out last week. And also everybody's favorite, real car loadings and lumber production sawmill capacity. Coming up.